Yeah, dog. Welcome to Wrecked to Riches. I'm Thomas G. Don't forget to smash the like button, drop a comment, and always remember, I am not a financial advisor. For damn sure not a professional. This is cryptocurrency. You could get wrecked, so you gotta do your research. That being said, guys, I, I talked about this, and a lot of smart YouTubers with small channels too, like myself, that had the experience would have told you and probably did tell you, and a lot of them did, I saw. But I said, Bitcoin, 45,000, 47 max, and then we're gonna see a dip. The problem I saw out there is like that 100K imminent, $1 million Bitcoin imminent, 100,000, 200,000. All these crazy numbers thrown out there by the, by the big influencers. Ben Armstrong, you know, he's out there creating content telling people bitcoin's going to the moon it's the bull runs here blah 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 and people really think that he is a good investor he makes most of his money from sponsors like steak so he can buy he can afford to buy the bitcoin top well his view, viewers not so much right but that guy buys the top all the time most people that are in crypto season know that like He's not a good investor. Most of them aren't. And it's, it, their experience is it's just not there yet. They haven't been in the game long enough to understand how these cycles work. Even how the human emotion of how people buy and sell and when that happens, how it works. And let me tell you. People say that I'm crazy when I say Bitcoin's going to go back down below 40K, 35K, 30K. Like, I won't buy Bitcoin unless it's below $25,000. And I'll stick to that. I've been around so long to see Bitcoin just start to expose itself, like really expose itself. How is Bitcoin exposing itself? Well, it's absolutely worthless outside of the fact that human speculation is calling it a store of wealth, you know, to, to store your value similar well in a digital i guess you could say aspect like when people are afraid of hyperinflation when there's uncertainty and doubt in their currency they take their money they store it in gold and commodities that's been going on for years all right that saudi money out there they put it into gold when they when they have a little bit of doubt wars about to break loose sanctions about to happen they go in gold so the digital asset has been called and, and displayed as it being bitcoin the digital gold which i would say yeah it is gold because gold doesn't even conduct electricity like you would with silver silver has more of a use case than gold gold just looks beautiful Really, that's all gold is. It's just a beautiful, beautiful commodity. It's just, it comes from the earth. It looks the way it does. People respect it. They love it. It's like bling, bling, motherfucker. When really, silver, you need it, you know, for computers, all sorts of stuff. Like, we need silver. We need silver way more than we need gold. And the gold and the silver in the crypto industry gold being bitcoin the silver being ethereum we need ethereum more than we need bitcoin it's used way more for transactions it has a greater use case bitcoin is the first of its kind it's exposing itself for having no use case and the problem there the big problem with bitcoin is when you have billionaires millionaires people with the kind of money to push the industry to the next level they ask questions like, how will my portfolio grow with this Bitcoin? What does it do? Could you start a business with it? What is the use case? And the answer to that is just to store your value like you would gold. That's the only speculation behind it. There is no true use case for Bitcoin. It is dinosaur technology. Ethereum has won that race a long time ago. You can build on Ethereum. There is a major use case around the world for smart contracts. Right now, the hottest thing going on for smart contracts is in DeFi, decentralized finance. And Ethereum is being used 
way more than Bitcoin, just like silver is being used way more than gold. Is silver a suppressed uh, asset that, that should be worth more? Some could some say that and would argue that case, but from what I understand and from what I know, silver is used way more. And so is Ethereum, which still in my eyes makes it a price point at the price it is today, a very, very good opportunity if you're someone looking to buy and not financial advice for the future because all that big money is going to understand, okay, smart contracts. Let me understand smart contracts. Oh, okay. This is the innovation that in impacts the world. We can build on this. We, we have something here. Whereas Bitcoin, it's I think it's going to go down in history as the greatest thing to ever disrupt the planet Earth. Blockchain technology, but... Vitalik took it to the next level and made it important and made it something that we're going to need and use. At some point, it will have a worldwide adoption because it was supposed to. It was supposed to and designed that way. Regardless of the gas fees and all that, um, you can build a smart contract, which is the most innovative thing in, in all of crypto. So for me... I think we'll see within the next one to five years. I'd say one year just being the bare minimum. You never know what can happen, you know, sooner than later. That the flipping will happen. Ethereum's market cap will surpass Bitcoin. Ethereum will have way more eyes and interest on it from that institutional money that they're talking about, which apparently won't be here until full blown regulation, you know, drops to hammer. Because the governments want to argue, the U.S. governments want to say, oh, Bitcoin's being used, cryptocurrency's being used to, you know, for transactions to supply weapons for Hamas and and terrorism. Okay. You get your argument? We know it's true, but on such a large scale of people, or well, on such a small scale, a small percentage is being used for those things. The majority is not so they want to throw that out there but i think they're going to want to be on the side of something that they can actually use eventually and it's not going to be used in their eyes for terrorism you know because i think the world is ready to understand crypto and the introductory to crypto is going to be ethereum everyone wants to be ethereum we got the layer ones and the layer twos they're building on it Pulse chain forked it. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. So I think I think Ethereum was way undervalued. Five thousand uh, dollar Ethereum someday. That's fud. Ten thousand dollars. Now we're talking. Fifteen, twenty thousand. Of course that can happen when the big money comes in after you know regulation and the hammer comes and all that good stuff. And I do think Bitcoin has had its, since its inception, it's had its bull run for many, many years. It's still on a bull run. And I think it's just that Bitcoin bubble is going to pop. People will look at it as an asset that was pumped and dumped with no real use case. And they'll realize that the real money that wants to invest in something that is useful and has a need, the necessity, like hey we need this we're going to need it and we have to have it that's not bitcoin and i think it will be ignored at some point and who knows what price point it'll reach at all-time highs it could do a lot until then but i think it's going to dump soon there's going to be a bitcoin bubble not necessarily a bitcoin bubble i think just the crypto industry as a whole won't need bitcoin like it has all these years and Ethereum will ultimately flip Bitcoin. So with that being said, the halving coming, all that good stuff with ETFs, I think it's all priced in. I think Bitcoin's shelf life is is coming to an end very soon. I can't predict how many years, how many months, but you got to think logically because there's really nothing you can do with Bitcoin. It's not designed for mass adoption. You can't build on it. And if you were to build on it or do anything on the Bitcoin network like ordinals or anything, it would just disrupt it, clog the network, and it's slower than pond water at that point. So really, is it the true digital gold of the industry? No, I don't think that. I think Ethereum is 
be digital gold. And Bitcoin would be like copper. Literally, it's what could you do with it? What could you do with it? How could this help my business? How could this make me money 20 years from now? And the thing is, the exhaustion of people trying to make a better Bitcoin, that narrative has been long gone. Everyone wants to make a better version of Ethereum blockchain. And that's the bottom line. Because Thomas G said so. Yeah, dog.